So we are going into game three of a best of five in the Antec Attack Tournament. I am SC2 England. My co-caster today is Puri. Say hi, Puri. Hey, guys. And we are oh, about to do best of the third game of best of five between Empire Cass, who is the green Terran in the lower left position, against Thundertoss, who is actually Chexic Sleep. And yep. he is the orange Zerg in the top right. The map is Coral Compound. And it was Cass's choice because, well... Any VOD watchers, if you haven't watched Game 1 and 2, go and check them out. Um, any live streamers, well, we will see what Peary says about the first two games. Yeah. Well, the first two games, the first one was really exciting, I gotta say. Uh, second game, pretty straightforward. Um, it was a bit uh, unfortunate for Kaz, as Sleep, excuse me, Sleep went to do some uh, Zerglin Roach pressure, and in the meantime, Kaz done an 8 Hellion drop into the main of sleep so which got cleared out it, nicely by yeah <laughs> and there were no units of cases so th the natural went down the SUVs went down the wall went down and then the block uh, you know, the units just stormed him so Kaz is on off to a very bad start in this best of yeah best he's of two down and yeah, the reason I'm like, quite surprised at his map well I'm not surprised oh, now. Oh, 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 we got proxy racks we oh. have got a proxy racks we do and there's 11 lem racks yep and we've got that second SUV there as well so we can have proxy two racks. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be eleven eleven. Proxy eleven eleven. So this is gonna be a really quick third game. Yeah. Really quick. And we'll sleep see I don't think he will know. No, he he's won't. not gonna see it. Um actually, where is this overlord going? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, oh. he may see oh. it. Ooh. This would be the greatest overlord placement ever if he does. He is gonna see it. He's gonna he see is. it. Any second to switch it over? Any second? Ready, I'm just looking at his vision. Three, two. I didn't even know where it is. And oh, then he yeah. sees it. And now what we'll see is um, a pool go Cancel down gas. super quick. Um, there goes the pool. It has all been scouted. Um, he'll probably keep that hatchery up, but may just sack it. You think you would sack it? I would sack it. Yeah. I know. I know you would fall behind a little bit economically, but at the same time, Kaz is not making harvesters. Oh, <laughs> Cass. Cass is lagging again. So for anyone who hasn't tuned in already, um, Cass has been having internet problems. Um, this is on the EU server. It's an online tournament, and players come from all over the world to play in this. So we believe Cass is currently in Ukraine, which is a long way away. Um, and obviously, Check Six Sleep, I believe, is where's he based? I think, I think he's living in America at the moment. I know he's Korean. His like yeah. national. Korean. And I a bunk is coming down as well here for Cass. So and Cass is so like, committed to this. Ah, Thunder Toss or Sleep is not very happy. Which uh, you can't blame him. It's so annoying playing the lag. And ooh, I'll have to wait to see what happens. So, um, really, this all comes down to whether um, Sleep can hold this. There's still some lag going in. A lot of drones being pulled down. Um, I'm well. <laughs> this is a bit disappointing. This is. Especially if he drops, because this is like his tactic. You can't really. Yeah, I think if he does drop here, the, it would, the game would have to go to. Um, It'd probably go to sleep. a remake. Do you reckon? I think so, this really. It's. Now, usually I say would, but the fact is it was. <sighs> sleep did scout it. Yeah. The fact that he was going for a proxy two racks. Okay, they paused it. Um, okay, but no, if you've scouted a proxy two racks, it kind of all comes down to that. Yeah. And ultimately, it's in Sleep's favour that he scouted that, because what it comes down to is whether you know it's coming or not. Yeah, but they haven't had the actual engagement yet, so. True. Because no, normally it depends. It's like uh, uh, people will either have a rule that's like we decide who wins, or it's a rematch. If it goes to like we decide who wins, it will be sleep, I would say. But if they just do automatic rematch rule, then it's just going to go to a rematch. Because yeah. some of them they have it like if it's within the first five minutes, like it's an automatic rematch. But no, we're going. So that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's hope. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Go on. Can Kaz even it up here? Or will he be forced out of the best of five? Now the drones are coming in to deal with this bunker and yep. that will scare away the SCV. More drones being pulled, just so many drones. 
Yeah. <laughs> Drones are good unit, yo. Um, and the Overlord's taking damage there. Because the Overlord's not quite on the high ground. Now all of these drones are moving forward. They do get a great surround though. Um, they get a really nice surround. The bunker is about to complete though. He didn't kill the SCV. Now that was a big slip up there from yeah. um, Sleep there. But he's got six Zerglings in production. Now he's just going to run away. He cleared out all the There Marines. is a Marine in the bunker. The Marine is in the bunker. <laughs> You sound like some kind of secret agent, like the marine is in the bunker, the package <laughs> has been delivered. <laughs> but no, the, that... The foxes are out of their cage. <laughs> too far. <laughs> too far, yeah. And it looks like Sleep is going to go for the entire surround now. Are you ready? Is he yep. going for Here it? Go. Here you go. He, he doesn't want those two marines to get into the bunker though, and they're going to. They're going to make it, and that is huge. That's near enough game now, isn't it? That is... That is going to be really, really difficult for Sleep to deal with. He's just going to go and take out the barracks. Which I like. Uh, there's one. There's still a hole at the top of the wall yet for uh, Kaz. And we've got so 10 more Zerglings in production. The SCVs are coming back to come and defend these two racks because they're essential. If those racks go down, um, Sleep's in an amazing spot. Um, I mean, really, the problem is is that Sleep, he's got to get an engagement away from that bunker. Oh, oh. But the marine numbers are getting dangerously high now. Um, there gets a point where marine numbers just get so high, you can't yes. deal with it with just zerglings. It's critical mass, isn't it? And he's gonna, um, Sleeper's going to need another, another overlord in a second because he is getting supply blocked. And especially uh, now he's lost that hatch as well. Yeah. Which gives you two supply. But the zerglings and do pop and he's just going to go for it now. And actually, he's done it. Yeah. Sleep's going to hold that. that. Um, now he's held that off, the bunker's down, those marines are not going to be able to do enough. Looking economically wise though, let's take a look at the work account. It is 13 to 16. So it yeah, is actually in Cass's favour. He's, he's about to shoot up in a couple more now. And we have four marines moving across the, back to Cass's base. I think they will get taken out. Which will be a little bit of a hit because there's actually nothing in the base of Cass. Yeah, oh, yeah. actually it's too late. Too late now. You I took mean, too long. Yeah, the wall off is going to be there. I mean... I'm surprised that Sleep didn't just go straight for those racks. Yeah. Because he, if you take them out, he's hit the production of Cass so hard that he'll just have a nightmare later and on. And we have four Marines, but they are in a corner, so they... They're in a very nice corner, but the surround was there. Um, yeah. It's going to be fine. The barracks have now been lifted. Um, and ultimately, he does have to be a bit careful now. Yes. This is going to get interesting from now on. 17v20 SCVs in the oh, sorry, uh, in base command center being thrown down now and the hatchery being retaken for sleep. Sleep did so. a very nice defense there. Apart from the fact his the only thing which stopped sleep just whitewashing cast right at the start was he didn't pick off the SCV building. The yeah. If that bunker uh, didn't go down, it would have been like pff, all over. Yeah, that's a little bit unforgivable. Like, he, he had the surround on the bunk, the SUV was dead. But he, um... He chose to go for the Marines instead, which... is preferable in some ways, but now this Hellion's out, that Hellion's just going to be irritating as hell. We got 30 seconds to speed Lin, uh, speed for Zerglins kicks in, so... This Hellion can get... well, it's already got its worth in kills. And there's a second one acro coming across the map. To be honest, Sleep... Once he gets that base up, he needs. I'm surprised Sleep isn't just droning. He needs to drone so hard. Um, but that's all because he hasn't got any scouting information. He doesn't yeah. know that that command center's there. Um, there's actually a tech club coming down the starport as well. So we're going to see Banshees. Cloak. Cloak Banshees. <laughs> Which I, I hate to say it, but I'm sorry to say this if any Cass fans are watching, or if Cass watches this later. But Cass, you went from a cheese into a cheese. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do you like cheese? And but at the same time, sleep is getting an evil, so let's see how that yeah. works out. For I, mean, him. I, I do take it back. Cass isn't all bad. Um, he has got that command center coming down, so it's not just like a one base all in into a one base yeah. all in. Um, I mean, the one thing I would say is sleep's decision making was great. Getting that evo, um, getting out those spore crawlers as well, because he hasn't seen the command center go down. And the one thing I hope is he won't cancel them, because he has now seen that command center land, and there's always the option that you could cancel. The spores, thinking he's I safe, but I hope I he lets think him finish. People. Based upon the fact that he's seen Hellions, I just, I think that gives it away more than anything. Yeah. Uh, we got 
the first banshee coming across the map, and of course it will get spotted by the circling. There's three queens out as well. Three queens, nice. two spores, a spore at each base, that's fine. Creep spread is good around all of the bases that joined. To be honest, it's pretty happy times now for sleep. And sleep is taking a third. Will that get spotted? I don't believe so. Or not yet, at least. No, it won't. Um, that banshee has no reason to go over there, really. But I mean, that it. third is going to be essential. If that gets up, he'll be fine. But there is Cloak, but the Spore Call is there, and the yeah. Banshee takes a couple of big hits. And really, that Spore Call is going to be the end of the day for Banshees. Although, there's that yeah. Spore at the front, which is going to try and get focused down, because obviously, there's no way Cass wants a Spore at the front of the base. Yep. And Lair hasn't long been started, so we got a 60 minute wait on that. A uh, 60 second wait. <laughs> no, I'm really surprised that that Cass pulled off yeah. of attacking that. Support. Me too. I thought he would have finished that burn. Again, he has actually managed to scout the third base, and that could very well be forced to cancel because even if the queens come over, um, the other banshee does have both banshees have enough energy for cloak, which would just be a nightmare. Um, yep. And there's no detection. Lair, as you said, is only three quarters done, so overseers aren't coming out anytime soon. That th base is definitely going to be cancelled. It should be. There's there's nothing I can foresee it surviving. Unless God. he sacks a queen, like to try and save the base, but I think that's oh a crazy move. Oh my God, he is as well. And he's moving the spore he's down, which is a good move, but he's going to lose two queens in exchange for keeping one base up, and that base was still going to go down. Yeah, you just fly around that. Uh, we do have actually a spire in production as well. Meanwhile, we've, we've taken a lot of time looking here. Um, what is going on down at uh, the ah. third base? Goes down. What is going on down at Cass's base? Well, he's got that two. No, he's got that two tank position though. Siege is yeah. done. Um, two tanks with a lot of marines are s uh, seriously effective. I, I don't and know why I just assist for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. We actually have a third <laughs> command center now in production as well. Some zerglings in the middle of the map taking some damage from this banshee um, spires. Halfway done, and the beamland nest is nearly halfway done as well. Now, just as I thought, these two tank marines are moving forward a bit, just getting to get into good yep. position, and those zerglings are going to walk straight uh, into it. Uh. Um, so that's just three units for cast there. Six, 60 supply v 105 in Cass's favor. This is not going good at all. Well, it's going very good for Cass. He's doing a lot of damage, but of course, oh, yeah. detection <laughs> is now out for sleep. Um, mobile detection at that, and that one band is on very low health, the one remaining. Um, I mean, the one thing that Cass has going for him at the moment is he's got that third command center on the way. Yeah, uh, well, it seems like Cass is just going to be able to stomp his um, sleep. I don't I mean, see sleep being able to fight this. The off. only thing going for sleep at the moment is he's getting that baning speed. Um, the trouble is, this big push is coming. Um, yeah, he's making muters at the moment. I know, the muters are the wrong choice, really. Yeah, yeah. Really this is going to be... Painful. Now, the interesting thing about this map, and the reason why I reckon Cass picked it, is you can actually siege up tanks on the high ground by the third, and then they can hit the third base. That is true. Which, it's very hard for a Zerg player to take a third base on this map. He's going to siege up. He's been a bit risky here. He just runs up onto the creep and then sieges. But it paid off. I think that's yeah. he got vision from the Banshees that the um, Banelings weren't dumb. Um, we get put him in a really good spot. He's going to pick off that Roach one super quickly. Using the yep. Banshees to pick off one or two units. Um, it'd be so good if you use the Banshees the to try and pick off the Banelings. I mean, the tanks are going down though. Um, Sleep is doing an amazing job of trying to defend this, but Cass has just got too much stuff. And that's GG. Yep. The drones have been caught, pulled and all died. Yeah. We have a few meters left, but they will get picked off by these Marines, and then the Banshees can go to town on what's left. Go and get that. There we are. All the mooters are dead, apart from the four about to be. And then they all died. They did. So One of these banshees has got 21 kills. <laughs> the other's got 17. A commander and a captain. And Sleep's going straight for the, the banshees. He targets the wrong one. Target the one with less health, dude. <laughs> Sleep does not want to give this game up. No. 40 supply v 98 in Kaz's favor. But it doesn't matter. Um, Sleep's gonna die. Just look at this big train of blue. Green. 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 <laughs> did I mention yeah. I'm colorblind? <laughs> I think you did. The game is called. So, um, that was game three, and it goes to Cass, so it's now 2 1.